Big Three Fantasy Alarm TV. I'm your host, Ray Flowers. Let's talk some pitchers on this Monday. We're going to start out with the number of 1.54, which happens to be the ERA this season of Stephen Wright of the Red Sox. Who saw this coming? Answer, nobody. Six starts this season for the Sox. Six quality outings for Mr. Wright. Eight plus strikeouts per nine innings. All that stuff. Fantastic. And he really has the look of a guy that was going to stick in the rotation and be effective over the course of the season. But here's the negative. 3.5 walks per nine innings right now, with all the success, is still a half a batter above the league average. That's a little bit concerning. Also, that 219 batting average of balls in play. That number is obviously going to go substantially up over the course of the season. And then finally, the knuckleball can be beat very hard when it's left up. In six outings this season, he's only allowed two home runs. There's just two. That's a 0.44 home run per nine mark. That mark is obviously going to go up. It could easily double. Wright is pitching very well. There's no cracks in this game. If the, the Red Sox continue to trust him, he should have a solid season. That doesn't mean a dominating elite season like it appears to be at this point. You didn't pay anything to get him on your team, so if you want to hold on to him and write him out, by all means do that. Just understand what you got. You got a guy who's probably slightly better than league average, not a guy that's greatly better than league average. The next number is two. The number of walks the last two outings for Patrick Corbin of the Diamondbacks. Now, I know if you look at Corbin's numbers overall, they're not very impressive, but hear me out here. In five of his seven starts this season, he's allowed one or zero walks, so he's really not beating himself. One of the biggest issues he's been dealing with is the home run, the exact opposite of right. For his career, he's 1.01 home runs per nine innings for Patrick Corbin. That mark this season, 1.65 home runs per nine innings. He's really been hit hard by that home run ball. Things should normalize there as you move forward. Patrick Corbin is someone that you should be buying low on if he's available. Have some faith. A nice young skill set here. Lots of ground balls, strikeouts, doesn't beat himself with the walk. A good opportunity to buy a guy that seems like things are going a little bit better than they look like on the surface. And then the final number of the day is six. That's the number of earned runs allowed the last four times that Chris Tillman has taken the hill. And he's been great in some respects, questionable in others. Let's look at those last three starts. 20 innings pitched, 26 strikeouts. Whoa, whoa is right. That's crazy time. He's seen an add of about 2.5 strikeouts per nine innings this season over his career mark. Now, is a guy in his eighth big league season really going to do that? Eh. Is it going to do it when it's Chris Tillman who doesn't have dominating stuff? I mean, again, two and a half batters up per nine in that strikeout column. Very difficult to believe that a guy's going to go from six and a half strikeouts to one inning. Very difficult to believe that. In those last 20 outing, 20 innings, excuse me, when he's had all the success, Chris Tillman has also walked 10 guys. That's terrible. That's four and a half walks per nine innings. And that's another interesting fact here. His walk rate has gone up over half a batter per nine innings this season. So even though he's added the strikeouts, he's also added a lot of walks. We need more innings. We need more frames here for normalization to occur. Makes sense that the strikeouts go down a little bit. The walks go down a little bit. We shall see. I, in fact, it makes sense that the strikeouts go down an awful lot. Even if he strikes out eight guys per nine innings, that'd be great mark for him. He's well over nine right now. Be careful with Tillman. He's pitching well. Not saying you shouldn't use him. Again, he's someone you also didn't pay for on draft day. But understand, amidst all the success, he's got a strikeout rate he's not going to sustain. And he's got a walk rate that's going up instead of going down.